far too long, our people have been placated with promises of a better future. It is time to make good on those promises. If Africa's fortunes are indeed changing, then that prosperity must be reflected in all of its citizens, not just the wealthy and the privileged. The three-day conference organized by the government of Ghana is meant to discuss current socio-economic trends in Africa, which is said to have left a significant number of the population behind and to chart an all-inclusive path towards what authorities term an African Agenda 2063. Chairman of the National Planning and Development Commission, Paul Victor Bain, said leaders and all other stakeholders owe better lives to society, not just as a duty, but a moral responsibility. Let us open our eyes, our hearts, first to take on board the historical and human factor obligation that obliges every person in authority to look at development inclusively into our hearts and our minds. So we have no choice whether we look at it as a responsive government or as people committed to our maker to take the issue of annihilating the gap between those that have and those that don't have. Speakers representing collaborators of the conference, including the United Nations system and the Danish government, all spoke about how talents are wasted and dreams dashed due to lack of opportunities in many parts of Africa. They called for new inclusive and people-centered modules as stakeholders in Africa explore possible common paths to development. Chairperson of the conference, Professor Henrita Mensabonsu, said the ideas must be backed with actions. Africa is changing, and with the change, the possibility that some may get left behind is something that should figure in our consciousness every day. I hope that with the deliberations here, we will not end up talking, but we will go beyond talking to actualize the things we see. So I know that once you have a dialogue on anything, you sow ideas that can be taken forward, but they must be taken forward. President Mahama said decentralization is the way to go. Decentralization and the empowerment of local governments is a useful tool in the prevention of inequality. In Ghana, the district assembly's concept which has ensured political participation at the grassroots level, has spared Ghana some of the worst forms of in inequality. Ghana today has among the highest coverage of electricity. Water coverage stands at about 65% of our population. Access to telecommunication services exceeds 100% of the population. Percentage access to healthcare and education are also high. LEAP has had a positive impact on local economic growth. Beneficiaries spend about 80% of their incomes in the local economy. We recognize that we are right now primarily making right what is wrong. That is why we in Ghana are especially interested in the outcome of this conference. The Millennium Development Goals expire in 2015, hence the urgent need for a global discussion on a post-2015 developmental framework. The Pan-African Conference thus should provide an agenda which is relevant and achievable within the African context in contributing to the global discussion. The continent is currently said to be the second most unequal continent in the world. Gifti Andopia, Joy News, Conference Center, Accra.